Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? So you want to install a dishwasher or you want to check your dishwasher to see if it's leaking. So a couple of things you want to do is you want to make sure that there's no place for rodents to get in. Um, there's no holes, no plumbing holes to let rodents in because rodents will notoriously eat water lines. They'll eat drain lines. They'll eat power lines. So you want to make sure rodents can't crawl in anywhere around where the dishwasher goes in. Definitely want to check back behind the dishwasher. Now normally if you uh, look underneath here uh, this is the whatever the bottom kick panel that's been removed from the dishwasher if you look under here you'll normally be able to see where it's leaking especially have if you have a wood floor like this just take a flashlight in here and uh, shine it back in there to see if you got any uh, any leaks, any sign of leakage. And so this one is plugged in directly to a socket back here so I know it's got power. We know it's got power uh, because of the light. Now normally the uh, dishwasher is sort of uh, adjusted in the uh, slot via these feet. There are feet underneath here that are screw height. Uh, you can screw them to height. Now these are screwed up all the way. This one here basically we want to make sure it's lined up here on the edge so it looks somewhat level here. You want to make sure that it's kind of shut when you mount it inside there. So the, the feet should be level down here so that we have uh, enough gap here so the door can shut on both sides. And so we're running this through a test cycle right now. And if we look down here, we don't see any water leaks, which is good and starts normal. Now some of these have particularly uh, sensitive door switches. If your machine does not come on right away, make sure that the door is completely shut. And then the other part is basically, you can see this one is still loose because I just installed it. There are these tabs up here that need to be screwed into the wood. Now this is countertop. This is a marble countertop. And you have to be careful not to use too long of screws or you'll screw up the countertop. So, yeah. And this one actually has a self-cleaning filter. You can clean that out. It should be cleaned out. If you ever notice your dishwasher is not pumping out well. And then this is your air gap here. This has to be cleaned out uh, probably once a year. If, you're, if you notice that your dishwasher is not draining properly, you need to check this. Now, this thing here basically um, uh, pries open. I'm not going to do it right now, but you get the idea. There's these little tangs right here on each side. And then the center piece comes up. And then you can clean that out. That's been one of the number one causes of poor draining dishwashers that I've come across. And this is the air gap or anti-siphon unit. Some uh, dishwashers do not have that anti-siphon unit. And you can see the anti-siphon unit goes from the dishwasher drain line up to the top, it's the air gap, 
it basically does not allow the um, it does not allow any of the disposal um, water to go back into the dishwasher basically um, and then and that's basically what it does and so the, basically the air gap goes up and then it's and it's going into the disposal excuse me so it does not allow any of the um, disposal water to uh, back flush into the, the dishwasher and so basically it's a kind of a one-way valve so basically it only goes pumps out uh, of the anti-siphon valve and you can see that we have a rat trap here because we had a problem with this before where a rat had eaten the drain line and basically caused it to flood when it was pumping out. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me at applianceworks at yahoo.com, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time, 927. If this video helped you, Please help support reuse and recycling worldwide by making a donation to Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thank you.